Welcome to the homework for lesson two. This is grade three, module two. Get your name on here first. And it says, follow the directions to label the number line below. So here's the number line. And our first direction for labeling says, the basketball team practices between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m., Label the first and last tick marks as four and five. So here's four, four o'clock, and the last one is five o'clock. These are both PM. All right, and that's five. That's all we had to do for five. B. Right, and that's for this one here and that one there. And you don't have to write over those. I'm just making sure you see which ones I mean. <clears throat> each interval, for B now, each interval, interval is the space in between two tick marks. So each interval represents five minutes. Count by five starting at zero or at 4 p.m. and label each five minute interval below the number line up to five. So each interval, if this is zero, then the next one has to be five. And the next one is five more minutes, 10. And the next one is 15. The next one is 20. And then we have 25, 30, 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, and the last one is already labeled at 5 o'clock, so we're not, gonna, we're not gonna label that one 60. So B is done. <coughs> Part C. The team warms up at 4.05, so that's 4 and 5 minutes, 0, 5, right here. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time, and above the time, write W. Okay, so I'm going to plot a point. Plot a point just means make a dot at that place on the number line. So there's the dot, and I'm going to label it with a W for, W is for warming up. W. That's it. Done with C. D. The team shoots free throws at 415. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time. Represent just means show. Right? So we're going to plot a point that says what time it shows on the number line what time this is. So 415 is going to be right here where the 15 is because it's 4 o'clock and 15 minutes. I label it with a F for free throws. And we're done with D. Part E, the team plays a practice game at 425. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time. So that's how we just, you know, represent. Usually means show or draw or describe. Usually you're writing a number sentence. Or you're drawing a picture. In this case, we're just plotting a point. Uh, and we're going to write G above 425. So let's see, 425, that's right here. And we're going to write a G above that. G. We're done with part E. And now F. The team has a water break at 450. And since we already used W, we're going to have to call it B for break. And we're going to plot a point on the number line to represent this time. So 450 is going to be B for break. So 450, find the 50. And B for break. Done with F. And G. The team reviews their plays. So review means they're just reading them over again or practicing them or talking about them. Reviewing means going over them again. 
They're reviewing their plays at 455. Plot a point on the number line to represent this time. Above the point, write a P. So 455 is going to be P for plays. 455. There's the 55, and that's going to be P for plays. And we're done with G. That's it for the whole page. Not too bad. So that's what your number line should look like when you're done.